play gangsta and police games at the same time. That shit is weird. That shit is weird. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai X Limitless. And we back with another one. And we're talking about the YSL Rico case. And it just gets crazy and crazy every time we get into it. And this is just like one thing. You know, one crazy season of power, right? So, on top of Fannie Willis, which is the DA who's over the, you know, the Rico cases that's going right now over Young Thug, she's been exposed and busted for having an affair with the prosecutor of Young Thug. Now they're saying that YSL defense attorney Nicole Fegan was arrested on gang charges right so this this caucasian lady is supposedly ysl right i don't see her i don't see her doing the um i don't see her doing the slat and they saying i guess they saying she got the red bandana too right so like i said man this case is all kind of crazy um those attorney is a part of ysl too so let's check this out in 2022 apd was arrested on a double shooting on the north side of the city and police learned that Fegan had contacted a suspect in the shooting, warning him about active warrants for his arrest. APD confirmed. More info. Fegan provided information she had learned during a preliminary hearing related to the shooting and advertised the suspect to dispose of his phone as police were going to arrest him. She was not representing him at the time. Police confirmed, right? So basically, they're saying that this lawyer was helping you know, get away with crime and be better criminals, right? Which is which would make you an accomplice to the crime, right? Figa is charged with participation in street gang activity and criminal solicitation to commit the offense of tampering with evidence, right? APD just confirmed that Fegan was arrested in Gwinnett County and transferred to Fulton County. We're working on getting the warrants, but the hack is representing a bit of the challenge apd released information from the incident that she's charged in right so she's a part of she's a part of this crime right here on february 21st 2023 Kevante davis was taken into custody by atlanta police zone two officers aggravated assault and murder update on 10 1 2022 Atlanta police homicide unit was notified that one of the victims succumbed to his injuries. The case has been charged with an aggravated assault to a homicide, right? So basically, they're saying that the YSL defense attorney was a part of hiding evidence to a murder. Two people with gunshot wounds arriving at Grady Hospital by private vehicle upon arrival. Officers located two victims who had sustained gunshot wounds one victim was alert conscious and breathing and a second victim was in critical but stable condition preliminary investigations indicates the incident originally occurred near baker williams street where the victims were engaged in an exchange of gunfire with the suspects investigators responded to the scene to determine the circumstances around the incident the investigation continues right so it looks like like i said man you know they got the YSL defense attorney, you know, she was down with the gang. And if that means they can get her as a dirty, you know, representation, man, everybody's going down, right? Young Thug's lawyer is now getting in on this Rico. This is looking kind of bad for Young Thug, but at the same time, Fannie Willis isn't clean herself with what she's got going on. Like I said, this is like a, a crazy episode of Power where everybody's pretty much got dirt on them and it's almost like who's gonna get thrown out first seems even worse than what fanny willis got going on she's not you know I me mean, dating young thug she is with the gang like they saying so let me know what you think about this in the comment box do y'all think this is gonna impact the case I'm like who the hell is gonna represent you when your lawyer now needs a representation right your lawyer needs a lawyer so let me know what you think in the comment box appreciate y'all for rocking with me like the video subscribe and we gone